This guy is one of the great retailers in America. He runs one of the great businesses in America, and part, in big part because he's got a great sense of humor. Uh, his company has been one of the top 100 companies to work for in America seven years in a row. And on top of that, this is the only CEO I know who's dressed, in a, who's dressed up as a cow. Let's give a big warm welcome for Stu Leonard, everyone. Stu Leonard. at our food stores, and I'm out looking at turkeys, literally just grabbing them, checking out the breasts and these things and with our farmer, and here I am standing on the stage at Caroline's Comedy Club. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but you know what, I, I, I almost don't even know if I should thank him or not, but David Moore was the one that really got me into all of this stuff, and uh, he's been my coach. You know, he's helped me with my comedy, my PR with me and everything. But after watching his act tonight, you know, I hope he's a real successful businessman because in this tough economy, he doesn't really have any career to fall back on right now. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, Davis. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, how many people have been to Stu Leonard's before? Yeah. Uh, so I made sure I sell plenty of tickets for a lot of people in here tonight, too. We have a lot of team members. My dad and mom are here tonight. I got my my, my wife, Kim, I got my daughter, I have the whole family coming up. And one of the things, we got this animation, we got all this food stuff going on at the store, and I grew up literally in the food business, um, you know, as a kid like that, and uh, everything was about food in the stores. When I was a little kid, and I didn't finish my vegetables at home, my mom would say, go sell them at the store tomorrow. <laughs> It was all about food, and my dad, you know, my brother and I, we'd have a lemonade stand. Did we get the lemons for free? No, we didn't. He sold them to us, but he gave us a hell of a price, like that. <laughs> um, you know, one of the things that uh, we have is that, you know, we're a family business, and that for many of you who know, you know, know what that's like, you know, I know John Holtz is here tonight. He's uh, used to family business, but, uh, you know, they, there's, there's a story where this guy goes into a doctor and he has six months to live. You know, the doctor tells him that. And he's devastated. He says, oh my gosh, I got six months to live. He says, Doc, what do you do the last six months of your life? And he said, you know what? He said, I recommend you quit your corporate job. He said, and go get a job working for a family business. And he said, why should I do that? He said, because it'll be the longest six months of your life. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you know what, folks? <laughs> you work for a family business, you're ready to die. <laughs> um, you know, we have been pounded into our heads as kids, um, and all our team members have, is we have this rock, rule one, rule two, you know, the customer's always right. You know, rule one is the customer's always right. Rule two, if the customer's ever wrong, reread rule number one. John Tisch writes about it in his book. I mean, he's a big customer's always right. We all learn that as kids. Well, my nephew Jake was in college. He was working at the store this summer, and he comes up to me and says, Uncle Stu, he says, you gotta help me. And I said, what? I didn't know how to handle this one customer. He said, uh, I didn't know how to practice the rock. You know, the customer's always right. And I said, Jake, what happened? He said, well, I was working the fish counter. He said, we had a $3.99 lobster sale going on. I don't know if you know anything about lobsters, but $3.99 is a hot price. You know? <laughs> we sold thousands of pounds. And uh, he's there just packing lobsters. People want it three, six. They're buying them like crazy. And he says, this attractive woman comes walking up to me. And he says, she looks over and she says, I'd like six steamed lobsters. And he said, I'm awful sorry, man, but during the lobster sale, I can't steam them. She looked at him and said, what if I brought you in the back room and showed you my latest Victoria's Secret purchase. <laughs> Jake said, I turned bright red. How do I answer a customer like that? And I said, you know what you say, Jake? 
They said, you ask her how long she wants her lobster to steam. <laughs> So I walk into like this meeting that she's having, and she's standing up there, and she looks over at everybody and she says, do you guys know what's wrong with your nuts? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what did, what did I get my daughter into? <laughs> and, and she looks at everybody and she says, you know, your nuts are not conveniently located. <laughs> They don't look very, your nuts don't look appetizing in the store. <laughs> and she said, you know what, we should, you should put your nuts in these little convenient sacks <laughs> so people could just grab little snack packs and pop them in their mouth. <laughs> and I'm shaking my head. And so, you know what she ended up doing? We came up with this great idea. And I, I brought one of them, look at it, a little Stu Leonard's snack pack. Now, we have all these little nuts. We're selling thousands of dollars a week of these little snack packs. And now you know what? I'm proud to say, everybody loves my nuts. <laughs> hey, hey, Dad, my dad's just turning 80 years old. Guess what, Dad? Everybody loves Stu Leonard's nuts. <laughs> You know, my, my wife, uh, you know, my, my wife, Kim, works in our wine store. And, um, you know, she, uh, she sells wine. She's a certified wine specialist, actually. And, uh, you know, when, the, when I go to a restaurant with her, um, she gets the wine list. I get the check at the end of the night. And so uh, she's working in our Norwalk store. And this guy comes in. He's an investment banker, businessman type. And he's walking around the store. And she's helping him, he's buying like $1,000 worth of stuff, 2000 really good customer. And he gets to the, uh, into one area of the store and he looks at her and he says, before I buy any more, what kind of discount do I get? And she looked at him and she said, well, gee, you bought some great stuff, 15%. And he said, I want 20. And she said, sir, you know, we give our best customers 15%. 
And he said, what if I told you I knew Stu Jr.? <laughs> And this is like the best line I ever heard my wife say. She looked at him and said, what if I told you that I was his wife? <laughs> I love that one. Hey, thanks so much, everybody.